Today you're in for a real treat. We've got, I think, around 15 minutes of absolutely incredible Battlefield Rambo moments. The first one from Lucky was just insane, your typical Battlefield 3 Rambo moment on Metro, and this one from Rabbit 1639 is one of the most unusual knifing clips you will see on Battlefield 4 this time. He takes out a bunch of players using only his knife. Jason's next up, this is Battlefield 4, Operation Metro, and as you've probably seen by the first few clips, there will be a few Metro clips in today's episode, and rightly so, with it being a Rambo episode. Check out this clip as he uses this M4 in the perfect position to mow down a bunch of enemies. One of my favourite clips in today's episode is from Alex or Alex K, playing on Sane Crossing, he is going to single-handedly sort out this game for his team. It's Rush, and that objective needs to be sorted out. He gets towards it, mows down a bunch of enemy players, and gets the objective armed. Moving on, it's Archer back to Metro Battlefield 3, and this guy, if you haven't already noticed, in the top plays is just a beast. Every clip he sends in is incredible. This one with the Spaz 12, yes, using a shotgun, but definitely really in the perfect situation for it. Also getting himself an M320 smoke kill there on that enemy before going on a complete rampage. Clip sent in from Gravity BFTV. This is the infamous push on Metro. As you go around the corner here, it can be very difficult, but the enemies don't spot him. And he also has an M60. You couldn't ask for a better weapon for this situation. Through a load of enemies, like a knife through butter, he destroys these guys, all of them taking down nearly 2,000 points in that stack. <laughs> A couple of clips sent in from Lackey, we saw that one at the start, and that kind of sets you up for the next few clips, they are going to be incredible flanks, the first with the 870 MCS on this vintage Battlefield 3 Metro backrange. And the next clip he sent in is once again on Metro. This time, though, he's going to be using the smoke tactic. Can be used in pretty much any Battlefield game and is always very effective. Smoke, even though you can be spotted through it sometimes, just gives you that bit of an edge against enemy players as you try and push through for a flank. A really nice one, this, as he gets a bunch of score on, once again, a really vintage Battlefield 3 Metro flank. A 
Fanity's next up, Battlefield 4 Pearl Market. This one's an 870 MCS, kill streak around 9 or 10 kills, and an objective armed. Really cool to see it again on Pearl Market. As you know, one of my favourite maps in Battlefield 4. Just really, really fun and a great environment for infantry. He did send in two clips. The second is once again Battlefield 4, this time on Locker. A bit of a back rage here with the L85A2, a weapon you should definitely check out if you don't like recoil. This one's really easy to use. Very, very good as well. A good alternative to the AEK. A nice spray down. Yes, it's not an infantry clip, but for me, I still think it has to be included for the sheer amount of kills and panic that the tanker and the gunner get here. Eros is coming in with a tank gunner clip. The whole enemy team spawns and starts charging the tank. A couple of well-placed incendiaries picks him up nearly a thousand points. Moving on, it's Scream. This is Grand Bazaar. Battlefield 3, the AEK, and as you see there, a 44 Magnum for a secondary. This is a typical Scream clip. I actually bumped into him the other day on Battlefield 3. He was destroying everybody. The fact that he stays alive for so long in BF3 is what is the most impressive. And yes, he's good at infantry and all the other aspects of it, but the survivability is what impresses me the most. A really epic push. Mutter Cup is next. This is, once again, Battlefield 3 Metro and an AN-94 8 kill streak as he blasts through the enemy team trying to push on to Bravo. He did send in three clips in total. The second one is a slightly longer kill streak, 11 in total, with the M16A3, once again on B flag. And the third is something completely different, using the M40A5, of course a sniper rifle, on Sane Crossing, what looks like Conquest, just blasting the enemies as they try and get up into that really annoying camping spot up in the staircase.
Dusty's next up, Battlefield 4 Metro, using the sniper loadout where you get these motion balls which help you out just a little bit. Motion sensor assists coming in already, you can tell there are people around him, and then the Spaz-12 is weapon of choice as he blasts through a bunch of enemy players. Two locker clips sent in from Sato0821. Here is why spotting can be very strong. Comes around the corner and a million things are lit up like a Christmas tree using that really strong G18, the pocket AEK, to blast through them. Only a short clip though, and the second one is pretty similar. Everything spotted for him in the AEK proving perfect, followed up by what looks like the Deagle, smashing over a thousand points in a very short space of time. Slightly longer clip now from Jay Sparkling compared to what we just saw once again on Locker. This is an Ace 23 clip, it's a really nice one. It just feels to me as if he had a big mag MG4, it would have been a perfect point stack. He's kind of limited with this Ace 23, a great weapon, don't get me wrong, but when you have a bunch of enemies like that, if you have the big mag LMG, it's the perfect opportunity. He does really well though up in this tower, behind enemy lines, and taking a bunch of them out. That's it. That's it. Moving on to a console clip from Orion, Operation Locker, M16A4, and a load of enemies taken out in a big point stack as well as he tries to get into the tower on C and control it. Two more clips left in today's episode, both Operation Locker clips fitting in with this Rambo theme. The first from Balance using the AEK and G18 tryhard setup. We get some nice movement and good flag control as he tries to push the enemies back off Delta. Finally, a clip from EN98, playing on Operation Locker once again, but the M98B is his weapon of choice, dinking enemies across this corridor here towards Echo Objective. Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Players. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. You can find the players' channels in the description and you can leave your comments down below as well. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.